What's up guys? How's it going? We are in Tokyo and this is my second time here. It's my favorite city in the world ever. So I came here first time last year and I fell in love with it and now I'm so glad that we're back here and we're here for about a month and we're going to travel around the rest of Japan. Naturally, I've already been to a camera shop and already bought myself a lens. So I finally got a native Sony Zeiss lens for my a7R2. So similar to my Hong Kong video, this is going to be a highlights reel of some of the best bits that we're doing over the month in Tokyo. And then there will be a high quality video of all of the super smooth shots from the Sony. So here's Tokyo and uh, let's go enjoy the time here. First up, Ellie's hungry, so food. <laughs> We are in Yoyogi Park, uh, just off of Harajuku. Harajuku. And uh, there's some crazy dancing and all sorts of singing going on. And it's actually rather nice here. Everyone's really quite expressive. There's a lot of music, a lot of fashion, and it's just a beautiful park. We found a tree with some cherry blossoms in, or maybe plum blossoms, we're not sure because it's quite early. But part of the reason why we came to Japan during March and the beginning of April is because we wanted to see the blossoms. So hopefully throughout the month that we're here, we'll see more of this and then all the festivals that follow. Please watch your steps when you leave the tree. We've just come to Shibuya and this is the famous crossing in Tokyo and probably one of the most famous sites across all of Japan or modern day Japan rather. Now if you want to get a good view from here, take the walkway from the west of the station. Now there's quite a few exits from the station so you need to pay attention where you're going and you can get incredible views through the window out there and every minute or so there are a few thousand people across the road. Yes, I said a few thousand people. It's ridiculous how busy it is. Akihabara and we're going to be checking out some arcades because this is Electric City and there are arcades everywhere. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Restaurant, robot restaurant, robot restaurant, oh yeah. Saw this place last year and it looked insane. And I think it's gonna be more than insane. We're very excited for this. 
So we just finished at the robot restaurant. I mean, it wasn't that weird. Was it? <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> uh, that's like Brazil meets Japan. It had robot babies in a carnival. Mm. Insane and amazing. So good. Japan is so weird. It's your country. <laughs> All right, let's go get some food. Call it a day. Today we're with Ellie's dad and we've come to a driving range and no kidding this place looks like something out of the film. It's amazing. And apparently it's open 24 hours. Check this place out, it's incredible. We're here for a long time, so we're going to get snacks as we go rather than taking the snacks home with us. I mean, we're probably going to do that as well. When you do shopping in Japan, you pay for things, it gets transferred to another basket, and then you go to a bag packing area, such as this behind. Isn't that funny? So we've been in Tokyo for about a week now and uh, been filming a massive amount of high quality stuff that's going to go into the main uh, Tokyo video. We've just got some snacks, I'm going to show you these because they're amazing. Japan, they've got snacks, correct, so good. Alright, check out my snack shop haul, this is a, a hot coffee uh, in a plastic bottle. You've got your butter, jacarico, jacarico, jacarico. Food? And then check this out, this is the best sandwich. Peanut so, butter. So sandwiches come in, again, plastic bags with no crusts and they're sealed. The filling's just locked inside, it's amazing. Oh, Japan, I love you. And for me, kocha, tea, like a prawn onigiri, but it's not in a wrap. And then, yeah, I really wanted to try this out. A ramen sandwich. I don't know, we can try it. All right, let's go eat.
We've just been walking around the foot of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building and uh, getting a few shots around here. It's eerily quiet, but I think it's because it's a weekend. It's uh, Saturday today. And now we're going to take a look on the other side of Shinjuku, which is a lot busier, with lights everywhere, and it's calling for us. So we've just been walking around uh, Shinjuku area for a good few minutes and popped into Yodabashi Camera Store. Uh, now, this is one of the best camera stores I've ever been to. It's massive, maybe like six, seven floors of camera equipment. Uh, not to mention the fact that it's one of ten buildings with loads of other technology and homeware. and It's just amazing. It's like a whole district of technology stores. So if ever you're in the area, um, look up Yodavashi and you'll find anything you need. Uh, it's pretty good. Also, if you go shopping with your passport, you can get a discount uh, on the service charge, which I think is 8%, uh, which is pretty good. We're now going to check out some department stores and uh, another camera store, which is a favourite of mine, Bic Camera. I always like doing my grocery shopping in peace and quiet. I don't know what they're shouting. We're just passing through the station, and everyone's hugging these things. <laughs> Apparently it's this uh, character, it's the 20th anniversary. But watch him, watch him, here we go. Here we go, hug it, go on, go on, hug it. There's loads of them. All the way up there. Ellie said it's similar in some ways to what Hello Kitty is. It's just a character or a brand. Everyone knows what it is, I've, I've got no idea. We've been experimenting with the vending machines and today I'm checking out this hot chocolate. And oh my god, this is the best hot chocolate in a can bottle thing I've ever had. It's so good. It's got like the perfect sweetness, it's super smooth, it's nice and chocolatey. That's what you need in the morning. Even if it is 3 pm. We've come to Ginza today and it's raining quite heavily. We want to get some shots uh, in the rain, nice puddles, reflections, umbrellas and everything. And uh, we found some stairs to get a little viewpoint across Ginza and down to the Apple Store. So yeah, we just come up these stairs, we're going to get some photos. Uh, at least we're nice and covered here and then get some more video of the rain. Hopefully if I've got enough shots I'll be making a video of Tokyo in the rain. And uh, I'll link that just here uh, if I've made that. If I've not made it, then Joe, don't add this into the edit. Alright, it really is raining quite a bit now, but still getting plenty of shots and Ellie's doing a fine job of holding the umbrella to keep the Sony dry because it's not weather sealed. 100% rain. Uh, it's rain emojis everywhere. It's been about two or three hours since the last checked in and it's still raining. We've come to Shibuya to get some more footage crossings and rain and umbrellas. I'm thinking this video is going to be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, looking good. I think it's quite obvious that I'm a massive fan of trains in Japan, but look at this one. Up top, we've got seating for regular people and commuters. Down the bottom, we've got a play area for children. Amazing! <laughs> Utterly silent. What? We've come up to the Mori, or Mori, if you don't know how to say it. Um, so we're here in Roppongi Hills, and we've got an amazing view of Tokyo Tower. This was my favourite place we came to last year. We went to Tokyo. This time we've come during the daytime and we're getting some amazing shots. It's really peaceful and very calming. So yeah, just check out this view behind. That's Tokyo Tower. You'll recognize that from the emojis. And uh, I'm just shooting with the, the Sony a7R2 and uh, I'm doing some 4K shots so I can get some super crisp footage. Today we've come to Asakusa and we are checking out some of the very busy touristy 
temple-y type things in the center of Tokyo. As you know, we've already been to quite a lot of temple-y places in Hong Kong and Thailand. So this is now the Japanese version of those places. I don't really know how best to describe it. Uh, it's definitely selfie stick central here. So one thing I've been loving about all of Asia so far is how you can walk around the streets and then you'll find an alleyway like this one where it's just super clean but then right behind you've got a busy sort of cacophony of buildings and wires and cables. Look at this place. Such a great shot there. This evening we went for some sushi at Hamasushi and I don't really eat fish or anything but I had all the non-fish related sushis and Ellie had all the fish related sushis. <laughs> Were they good? If you've never been to a traditional sushi bar or a sushi restaurant, then check it out. They're super fun. Order at your table and it whizzes by and you just collect it. It's amazing. Okay guys, today is an incredibly exciting day because I'm getting on the Shinkansen. I have wanted to go on this since I was like, I don't know, four or five years old. Look at it. it, it looks like a fucking Concorde. Oh my god, it shit me, I'm so excited. This, yeah, I'm, I'm actually shaking with excitement. This, this train looks incredible. And I just saw one pull away and it pulls away so smooth and silent. Oh. The Japanese engineering, you've got it. So we're about to get on our train, and I thought I'd just run you through a couple of little facts that I learned. So at its peak, they run 13 of these an hour. That's one every four and a half minutes. That is insane, that's more than most underground lines. The speed of this will also go up to 200 miles an hour, which is about twice the speed of what the high-speed trains are in the UK, and it looks like a plane on tracks. We've come to the Shinjuku Gyoen National Park, or garden, I uh, forget what it's called. And today I think is officially the start of the Sakula season, which is the cherry blossom season for Tokyo. Uh, also happens to be my brother's birthday, happy birthday Nick. And we're gonna be going around the gardens, looking at all the cherry blossoms, along with everyone else who's also looking at all the cherry blossoms. Uh, yeah, it's a big thing in Japan, and it's uh, massive festivities throughout the whole country, as each of the regions have different cherry blossom times depending on their position in the world and for those who are interested cherry blossom lasts about seven to ten days so it's a big party for everyone and uh, there's a lot of money spent on it the park's closing up now and we've got park patrol kicking us out it's only 4 30. anyway got some nice shots today we've come to nagano and we're gonna go and Check out the snow monkey park, although as you can see it's not snowing. We're in the middle of spring, but so far it's been a quite scenic journey. We had to take the Shinkansen from Tokyo and then we took another bus, no, another train, and then another bus, and now we've got a bit of a hike through this forest hillside, whatever. Whew. 
I'm out of breath vlogging already. Uh, by the way, for those who are interested in coming to the Snow Monkey Park, you should definitely pick yourself up a one day pass. We discovered that uh, when we were waiting for the bus and realized that you had about an hour and a half wait on the bus. Did a bit of research, found the train, discovered that you can get the pass and it covers all the costs for much less than doing it individually. So definitely check that out. That's my little helpful hint to you. At Nagano Station though. <laughs> You have oh, to yeah. underground. True. Can't do JR. Yeah, you can't do JR Nagano Station. You've got to go to the underground Nagano Station to get that. So we made it to the Snow Monkey Park and one of the biggest battles of this sort of thing is getting photos to make it look like no one else is here. And obviously around here there's no one, but obviously there everyone's going now. It's also quite shocking some of the people who are here who completely disrespect the animals, like throwing stones at them to get their attention. So I've been getting lots of decent shots using the 70 to 200 and I've got the variable ND filter on there just because it's really bright so I can uh, darken the scene and use a wide open aperture to get a really shallow depth of field which is quite nice. Okay so we finished at the monkey park and we're now going to make the five hour journey back to Tokyo. Sounds ridiculous doing a 10 hour round trip but, look at this location. You'd be fools not to come and see this. All right, let's go. Fools. Well, today started as a bit of an odd day. We were meant to be going to Mount Fuji at Lake Yamanakako, and uh, we couldn't actually find the bus stop in Shinjuku for about 40-45 minutes or so and um, because of that we couldn't get a ticket and then we missed whatever buses were available and the next one was in the next five hours. So whilst we're in Shinjuku we thought we'd come up the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, take a look at this view. Uh, it's not that great for taking photos if I'm honest, there's a lot of reflections and uh, it's quite hazy today anyway so just kind of taking it in and we're going to go explore some other areas. Um, let's see what the day brings now that we've got a whole day ahead of us. So we come to the complete opposite side of Shinjuku now and there's a crossroads that has a really cool painting of the uh, markings on the ground. It goes the whole way across the crossroad. We wanted to get an aerial shot of it. We've seen quite a few on Instagram we found this cafe that's on the 8th floor you get a nice aerial shot of the crossroads um, so you should definitely go and look on my Instagram because I'm pretty sure there will be a photo of this on my feed. We decided to come and check out some arcades. Oh yeah! A few hours later, it's now getting dark outside. We finish at the arcade. Godzilla! We think we Yeah. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> die. And I just want to point out that today I had my first ever sushi. Now I'm not really a big fish eater and I'm quite a fussy eater as well. That was a big step for me. I had my sushi for the first time and I have to admit the meat was uh, pretty tender. It was, it was very good quality. Um, I couldn't eat too much of it because I'm still scared I'm going to die but no nah, I'm kidding. But yeah had sushi for the first time. That was pretty cool. Okay. It's our last day in Tokyo today and I've just filmed a recent purchases from Japan video. And what a fitting location. I'm in this Japanese room. It's pretty cool in here. So go and check out that video when that's released. Uh, again, I'm not sure which one's going to be edited first, whether it's this video or the one there. So it's either coming soon or it's already out. So we just 
decided to pop back into Central when we come to Shinjuku and we have one more little purchase to make for this one. Maybe. I'll show you what it is in a minute. By the way, Tokyo has this magic ability of making you come out of a station that is completely different to any other exit that you've ever come out before. It's so confusing. We've got no idea how we ended up here, but we know where we are. We just don't know how to get to the next bit. We're back at Yodabashi Camera, if that's a clue. Oh, God, it feels so good. It looks so good. She's doing it. She's doing it. So a few months back, I showed Ellie some photos from a Fuji X-Series camera and she kind of fell in love with the idea of having a Fuji and the whole time we've been in Japan for this whole month we've been looking at them and checking them out and today, our last day, she finally decided to get the X-T10 and now you're very happy, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, Australia, New Zealand, we're going to get some awesome shots with that camera. I'll put a link in the uh, description box below of the Fuji photos that we saw and fell in love with. They're from a guy named Dan Freeman, and he's got some amazing travel photos. So you should definitely go and check those out. This is our final few moments in Japan before we get on our flight to Melbourne and I uh, just wanted to end the vlog here. I know it's been a long one but we've done a lot here in Japan and uh, you should go and check out some of the other videos from our travels and the other Japan video from Osaka and uh, yeah just wanted to say thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and then subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you in Australia. We've got an exciting road trip. Arigato! It's incredibly hot in Bangkok and it's not even the hottest that it ever gets.